I've been thinking more on lately and what made me happy in my life. I believe that spending time with Vinius was also something that should have made the list. Our friendship was the strongest I ever had. We just felt the same way about most things. We spent a lot of time together negotiating our ways through the morass of the underworld, a world of thievery, thugs, and liars. As I said before, he was the smart one, and I was the one that was good with the sword if things got heated. He had a perceptive mind that just seemed to know if we were getting into something bad and if we needed to back out now while we still could, or if we were onto something lucrative. Most of the time he could tell if someone was lying to us. Phineas seemed to be an expert in reading body language. Only a few, a few really good cons got past his eyes. But we made sure that they couldn't be trusted through our contacts as soon as we found out the hard way. It also got to the point where I knew what Vinius was thinking just by looking at him. I knew when things were going sour because Vinius saw it before I did, and I could see it in Vinius. We experienced a lot of tense negotiations in our time in the Imperial City, and those times were life-threatening and quite stressful, but we managed to get through it because we both had each other's backs. In easier times, we'd like to have a few drinks, talk about our lives, philosophize about the different religions, cultures, and races of Tamriel, or just about recent news or local gossip. We just seemed to get along easily together. We were more than just best friends, we were brothers. He's the sibling that I missed growing up. He out of everyone in my life, I will miss more than anything. It's not even been three months since his death, and I miss him terribly even now. I don't know if I will have a friend like him again, and I don't know if I would want to. Right now, I just want Vinius back. Right, so now that I know the general direction, to go up Margan is around here. I'm not sure what it is, if it's an Ashland village or what. And from there we go north to Eldvalothi, and there's an orc I have to cure from the Blight. But it's pretty late. Okay. Again, back in the Fighters Guild. I sleep till early in the morning. So that's not the door you go in. Been through this before, and I keep forgetting which way to go. There he is. Okay. Oh, we have early. Maybe we'll just see Magnus peeking over the horizon, and we have to travel north, and then from there, northwest. I'm a little excited. Oh, I keep I'm forgetting waiting. to do this. Come on, is that an assassin? They just stand around and talk to you. Kind of look like the Dark Brotherhood. Ah. The wind is picking up out there. Okay, so back in the Mages Guild. This is the general supply chest. Uh, there. Maybe I should get more of these as well. Spirit of the Daedra. I'll give you... Oh, I can't place that. I'll take this book. I'll read it. Can you ask your question quickly? Oh, a windstorm out here? This is probably going to be a big ash storm. Cover my eyes. Hello. Can I trade with you? Well, you do have books. How about you take this book? Where is it? It's one of Vivek's sermons. I'll take that bread. Hmm. The book was worth a lot more than I thought it was. Uh, B. Thank you. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, looking at my map, we head in this direction. Molag Mar should be to the north. It's literally fighting against the So wind. what do you want? It's not, it's Mark Gam. How do I call it Molag Mar? Margam. What was that? Margam. 
some reason, my, I feel like I'm being watched. Keep your guard up, Julian. Sneaks out. Oh, didn't look diseased. When this ash, ash storm ends, if it ends, we can do a little bit more training. Mount Velothi is an old abandoned fort north of Nisus, I believe. No. Die! Die, Cliff Racer. I like to use magic, I see. I think more like Mark. Margan. Maybe I should get more sleep. There is no really, I missed that. Huh. I think I skewered it. it. Stayed in one piece this time. Usually it flies apart. Flimsy thing. I think the storm is breaking. Oh. Look at this. Red plant. Fire fern. Red flower, I mean. It sticks out. Seeing in the distance, is that part of the ghost gate? <laughs> ghost fence! No, it's a netch. It's illuminated. Okay, we have my favorite cliff, my favorite uh, thing to hunt while I'm in the wild cliff racer. And now the rain comes. Die, Get some of my arrows back. The wind is starting up again. Oh, I was hoping for a better day than this. That's some kind of mine. Oh. Get any worse? No, we can't get any worse. I really hope we don't regret this. Be at the ready. We need the experience. You will die. on her. The axe isn't worth much. I did train a little bit in s sneaking. Nyx hound. So much for sneaking. You in my to me I have a lot more uh, training to go in for sneaking. But then again, these are hounds that's hearing me. It's a petty sword down there. Okay. Here comes someone. Got her. At least there's something here. I can sell these soul gems. 
I don't know if they're worth very much. No, not really. I can't pass by an area without searching for gold, but I made a little bit there. A key. in three directions. What's that on fire? Oh. <laughs> I think this is where she came from. Arrows. A lot of them. Weighs a bit, too. I was actually hoping to use these steel arrows up. I've got bone arrows. A little bit more deadly. Heavier weight. Arrow, the arrowhead is a little bit heavier. Rusted chest. It's trapped. Trap is gone. Oh, it wasn't even locked. stuck back here. Nah. My armor is stuck to this wood. There we go. I'm not even wearing heavy armor. Sometimes it feels like I am. I have so many arrows on me now, I might as well shoot my bow as often as I can. Saltries. Which reminds me, I am a little bit hungry. Oh, I don't want to claw my egg. I'm not too fond of those. They're okay, but if I have anything else, I'd rather eat that. the key for them. Die, hope to say, I hope you're not a slave. A prisoner. You in <gasps> I have you. I hit it. Every shot is a hit. Well, if I can just shoot through there. I did hit him again. Bad if I say so myself. That's worth a bit. 80 gold, approximately. If my. I got all my arrows back, I shot. <laughs> I'm getting better. It's not worth it. Okay. Another lockpick. And the probe. Gladly take those. So no, oh, it's petty. I'd rather have lessers. Uh, I guess I got to start somewhere, but you can't cast uh, soul trap. Ooh, that's worth quite a bit. You can't cast soul trap on a, a sentient being. Well, there won't be a soul a gem that will be able to take it. And a lot of people consider that pretty evil. But I hear that there is the rare black soul gem that will take even a sentient being's soul. But I wouldn't do that. Maybe I'd do that to Dagoth Ur. What's this? Surf out of these? This is a valuable look. Look at how... Wow, it must have taken them ages to copy that work. I'm going to take this book. 
and I'll read it some at some point. Huh. Julan, you're a good partner, but you get in the way a lot. You want a Matsy? Uh, well, Julian's not really, uh, no. Doesn't want to trade for now. But I'll drink it. This one is not locked. Got it. Yes, I'm feeling a lot more confident in my skills. I'll eat that, Sultrice. Wow. They had three locked chests and barely anything inside of them. But you know what? Sometimes, just sometimes, those are like the bait. The fake ones. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that's the case here. Okay, it's not the case here. Sometimes they have the real chest full of jewels and gold. I was hoping that this would be one of those cases, but no. In the water or behind, hidden. It's too bad I didn't get paid by the Fighters Guild to clean this out. Just seemed like a den of... I don't know, thieves, bandits. They didn't really seem like smugglers. They didn't have moon sugar or ebony or quama eggs. And this isn't a place where smugglers would be. Well, I mean, they could if there's a nearby mine where they could be smuggling these things out of. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. What's that? That's a way to come out to the open wide world. By the nine, these things. I don't know how much further you are. I've never been to the Ashlands besides going to the Ghost Gate. Oh, this is new to me. Visibility is poor. Can easily be snuck up on upon. Snuck up on, I mean. I don't want kite and arrows. That was my training arrows. They really ought to put markers out here so you know how much further it is to the next town. What are these things? Oh! I haven't seen these things in ages. Uh, elites? Alice. Yes. Alice. What is... What is this green haze? A pack of them. That's not, um... Not something I've seen yet out here. go through this storm. This can't be. It's a hut, though. Are we nearby? I think it's starting to break, but it may come back again. What would I like to do? In some sort of disturbance at Hulin's hut in Margan, I am supposed to investigate and put a stop to the disturbance. Do you know who Hulin is? I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, I take it you're an Ashlander? My name is Ramisi Esernanat. The thrill of the hunt and the promise of payment, that's what I live for. 
What is your trade? I'm an archer. Okay. I get it. Yes, Outlander. Do I it? know you? Hulin? I don't know you. What do you want? Hmm. Oh, the storm's broken. Here's as good a place as any. Well, it's kind of broken. Not fully gone. Let's train a little bit, shall we? Let's try to improve on your skills. How about weapon skills? Long blade. Good enough. I'll take rain over the ash storm. How much further is this place? There's a sign ahead. Gone. Just ahead, I assume. I hope. What then followed went pretty quickly. I noticed that Julian and I have been getting along a lot. We've been talking about some of my recent adventures, and he's been telling me about his adventures here and as being a Nashlander here in Vardenfell. We talked about Cariel. We talked about the Chapel Limeware Bowl. He took a book of mine, read part of it, seemed to enjoy it, and it helped him with his security skill. The rain was fine while it lasted. These are Alet creatures. then, of course, the ash storm came back. Thankfully, I didn't catch the blight, even though one of the, the ones that was trying to snap at me did have the blight. The ash storm is brutal. It's hard to move quickly through it. It saps your strength after a while. And then after a, a, a while, we ran into a Dunmer pilgrim. He wanted me to take him to the Ruddy Man Coal Cave pilgrimage just south of Nisus. He said he had to be there in two days. I told him we have something to do in Margon. So he tagged along with us. Now we are a trio. We had to get to Helene's hut in Margon. Silt Strider. I think even the, the Silt Strider driver saw how bad the storm was and turned back after a moment. It's just not something you want to be out in. Every time I open my mouth to even talk, I would get grits of sand or ash in there. My eyes constantly had things coming through the slits in my helm. I had to take it off several times just to clean up my eyes. One thing that surprised me is that we kept on getting attacked by local wildlife, even though the ash storm was raging around us. Maybe they had gotten used to it over the millennia. I guess a lot of these animals just don't have anywhere to go. We eventually found Margan, the triolith. And then I talked to a local. She looked like an Ashlander, kind of, but it's more like a buoyant armager type outfit. She told me that there's a temple here, a uh, pilgrimage, a holy tower shrine, favorite place of pilgrims of the Temple Faithful. She also told me a bit of a disturbing story that because it's so close to the ghost fence, the northern part, that a lot of creatures were getting loose and the town had been under attack recently. Fighters and adventurers had come to help them. It was a very small town, there wasn't that much to it, but I would have gone inside just to get out away from the storm. I need any excuse just to get inside. I was told Helene's hut was outside of the walls in the southeast of the town. So 
I went and looked around the southwest, of course. We also have to consider that we have to head west over the mountains to get to uh, Nisus. And it's not always open. Some parts are very steep. It's not easy to traverse. Finally found Helene's hut. And thankfully, even the pilgrim came in. And we found a scamp inside. I was a little leery of Daedra before. But scamps are the weakest of all the Daedra. I put to use some of my healing others. I still need a lot of practice and restoration, but it's nice to be able to heal others around me that are injured, especially since I'm the one that injured him after a failed swing at the scamp. When I first saw Julan, there was two, three Daedra. Clan fears, they're called. They're kind of like Kaguti, without horns, and they're green and on two feet. I wasn't too afraid of them. Nor was I afraid of the scamp. Maybe I don't have that much to fear about Daedra. But I haven't faced the worst of them. We found inside the house was ransacked. There was an apprentice to Helene. He had conjured the scamp. And he said that the scamp was fooling him and wasn't under his control from the beginning. The scamp then went and ransacked the house, and he locked himself. Apparently the scamp took his clothing, which I found very odd, but to each their own. And he locked himself in this room and was too fearful to come out. Funny enough, that's all we had to do, was walk in, kill the scamp, tell him that uh, the scamp's dead. He also said he didn't want to be a mage anymore, but I told him that he didn't have to conjure up Daedra to be a mage. Now we need to find a way... There's that lava path to the northwest of Ash, uh, Red Mountain. And we need to find a way. It's not that easy in this ash storm. To go over the western hills, which are pretty steep. I'm not sure if they're considered a mountain or a hill, but I'll, I know in a lot of areas it's, you can't get over it. So now we've got to find a way to get over that way. To Nisus we go.